Hola, kid. Good morning. So, my track build is almost complete. So, today we are going to um, do a sprocket change. Just the front for a quicker acceleration. On this bike, I'm going to leave the stuck um, sprocket as is because they say I heard because of the increased horsepower on this engine. If I leave it 1544 like on my um, 2013 RSV4, it wheelies too much, even though it has the anti wheelie. So we're gonna leave it like that and see what happens, right? If I feel like I can use the 44, I will put it on. But definitely the um, the 15 tooths up front because it's too tall. So, and this one looks like it's a seven, 17 tooth. Looks bigger than the normal 16, the 16 I used to have on that one. We'll find out very soon, all right. So what we need is a 30 millimeter because I put a 30 millimeter nut on the axle nut. The original is 32, but just to keep it same nut size, front and rear. You're gonna need a 14, a 13 millimeter nut for here. You need to have the bike in neutral. You either have a nice rod like this that you can put through the axle right here you could <coughs> you can see I had this rubber thing here you could also you see you can just bring this spoke here and then it's gonna lock itself there right there yep or you can wrap it with um, a pep, um, towel so I don't scratch the screen arm nor the wheel if you have a body he can hold the brake for you over there the rear brake so it won't turn okay I'm gonna need a 13 and a 10 because after I loosen up I need to loosen the sprocket and take off the chain slack so I can move the sprocket out Okay, so let's see. Okay, go. Here you go. Well, that was easy. It wasn't too much effort in there, which was good. Sometimes this can be real pain, yes. Like they come very tight sometimes from factory. Hey, buenos días. There you go. I'll take that out. Do that here. Then Okay, so let's loosen. Somebody told me that the music bothers them. I hope it doesn't bother you guys. <laughs> Somebody in eBay, um, eBay, I mean, made a comment the other day that I had a disco going. So sometimes I need to have some music. So hope most of you guys doesn't bother you. And all those texts could be my wife. <laughs> 
who knows all right hope to take this bike this weekend or next week or the following week to the track she's almost done I mean she's done I think she's done definitely but you know troubleshooting troubleshooting here troubleshooting there oh yeah I got this on eBay it's um, part number JTF704.15 and this is the other numbers we can see them there hope you can see them okay what do I need is what do I need yeah I need something to cut this thing up this glove don't help me See the orientation of this bracket? This space goes inside. Wow. I think this I think this bracket has like a, it's a 15 or something, a 17. We'll find out very soon, right? with it there see the face of that you see it's about to send west Okay, so let me go here. Okay. Yep. And now I'm gonna put this here. You could you could um, drill a whole bolt, a uh, hole here and safety wire it to here. So it doesn't matter because it's going to be rotating all the time with this. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to give it here because it's a track bike, not a race bike. So I'm okay with it. But, you know. Okay, so let's count these ones. So this is for one, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. It's a seventeen. Wow, it's a seventeen tooth. Woohoo! How about that? I thought that was a sixteen my normal iris before the 2013 has 16 and this is 17 let me double check that one two three four five eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen no sixteen one two three four five six eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen Sixteen, sorry. It's kind of before. Okay, so we're good. That's sixteen. Alright. So let's make this tight. I will need this. To make it tight. So so tighten it up, it's gonna go here the same way. I just go in that direction. Okay. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do is put the chain back on, get a slack in there. So let's make sure I put that in there. There you go. And this is gonna increase more chain slack because of the shortness of the news bracket so it's gonna go even now farther so more wheelbase so to speak so when I'm in my the only problem is gonna give me when I'm in the, putting it in my trailer being a longer bike <laughs> I'm gonna have to probably um, probably I'm gonna have to loosen this bracket like I'm doing here and move it forward so I just can carry on my trailer but that's a little thing not a, mind, not a big deal okay whoa to have this probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. I had it at ten, it's eleven, so we'll put it at twelve. I had it ten lines before. I'm gonna put it at twelve. There you go. One, two, three. A little too tight for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is eleven. The line is eleven. Somebody was asking in the forum, they went to the track, changed shrimps, but they didn't know the torque settings of the track, uh, the, to put it on the track, you know, other than that. So, you know, I don't over torque it, I just get to tie snug, 
and then one quarter turn like that and that's good enough plus I'm gonna have the safety wire through here so I'm gonna put the pin so even if it gets loose it won't come out but for street you definitely want to have your torque setting your torque settings as the spec but for track you don't want to have them too tight you just want to have them you know bring it the nut snug to the axle to the end and then give it a nice half turn plus you're going to put the the uh, the uh, what's it called you're gonna put the uh, the pin to the safety wire pin and that's what I do I never have problem with it so I don't expect to have any problems with it See, like check, chain slack, you want to leave it like this. You know, not too tight, and not too loose. Just barely put any pressure, touch the axle, and you're good. You always want to measure halfway the length of the swing arm. And that's pretty good for track day, for uh, street track riding. Reason you want to leave it loose, like that. So the um, suspension or the shock, it doesn't have any tension <clears throat> and it works as it should be. If the chain is too tight, the suspension or the shock won't react as it should. It's going to be too stiff. It won't travel the right way. Another reason you want to leave this here so that you can have a good movement in the chain I mean in the shock oh, turn this up struggling good now we gotta go here yep see this thing is over there Definitely put it more, and that's good. Put more pressure than I when I took it off. Now let's take the axle out, the rod, and me, not the axle. Out of the swing arm. Now let's rotate the tire and see how it works. Oh yeah. Okay. Traveling perfect, no kinks. So we are good. Alright, awesome. So in review. To change the front sprocket, you're gonna have it on neutral. If you do it on yourself, usually the swimmer has two openings. You put a piece of steel rod through it, wrap it with um, a paper towel, I mean um, a old towel so you don't scratch your swing arm nor your nor your rim. Um, loosen the the axle, take out the nut, loosen this so you can move, you can move the axle forward so the chain has um, slack so you can move the chain forward and then you take off the sprocket and put your sprocket on uh, same way as the original came out then put it on put the axle back to the right length when you change you chain slack everything on then you tie it up then you tie your front bolt that you can do your for sure your OEM 
um, manufacturing spec torque as you can see I did a little harder than when I took it off because you saw me how I took it off <laughs> I expected it to be a little hotter but it wasn't so I'm cool with that so now it's gonna do a check on this nut because yesterday I saw something that I wasn't too happy about okay guys peace out that was a sprocket change from sprocket change peace out remember this is an entertainment purpose only video if you don't feel capable of doing it take it to a certified mechanic so they can do it for you and have somebody else touch your bike <laughs> peace out